We live? We should be. We live? Yeah. We should be. We should be live on the green. Yeah, we're live now. How are we over there? There we go. We live. Cool. What is up, my people? What is up? What, what is, is happening? Happening. Happity. Happity. Happity? Happity, happity. Hippity, happity. Friday. Friday. <laughs> What's up? Freestyle Friday. We're going to get right into it. I'm going to turn this brightness up a little bit. I feel like I look like a little darkness. Darkness is Friday. Darkness. Everybody. Darkness. Darkness. Everyone. Darkness. No. Is no, that I'm too light? Like, no, too I'm white? a little, little too white. Right. That's okay. No, I'll get you a little. I mean, I you, am. I'll so get you a little less white. I'm, I, I, need, I need some sunshine. I need, I need somebody to invite me to a pool to catch some sun. Darkness. Darkness, everyone. <laughs> everybody, welcome. Darkness. <laughs> Guys, what is up? I'm one of your hosts. I'm Kadima. I'm Jacob. Welcome to Freestyle Friday. So we thought... Um, this would be a good time to talk about this, especially since we're moving into a new studio location. Uh, super excited about that. Man, I'll tell you, construction, anybody who's done it, you know it's fantastic. Especially in a post-COVID world where supplies and other things are just yeah, it's moving. not as plentiful. It's moving so fast. <laughs> right? It's just... You never know. We could start moving in tomorrow. Like, I you mean, never it's know. incredible. It's you absolutely incredible. So but we fast. wanted to take the time to kind of go through and talk about our programming, talk about our methodology or you know, there our methods of training, talk about why we do what we do, and kind of break that down a little bit. Because I don't think um, you know our growing population, even our members, even as we talk, they just they just show up, they lift, they sweat, and they leave. I think, not. I don't think. I know they think we're out to get them <laughs> some days. So there's a, there's a science behind that. Yes. So I want to clear the air here and let you know one thing is true. Yes, we are in a way out to get you. Okay. But scientifically. Yeah. So it's different. Yeah. Right? We, we back it by science. Yeah. So okay. and we and we do taste our own medicine. We do. We quite often. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you when you've tasted that medicine, sometimes it has been tasted four Mul times yeah multiple times yes multiple times so um yeah okay I, I'll, I'll start this off okay. so so we started doing our own programming what a year and a half ago now it seems a little it's really a covid i would say okay that's two so years. so we we were at least talking during covid but i don't think that we were fully doing it ourselves okay. okay okay but anyways we were in the talks during covid since we were here um we, we had tried out multiple programs and we liked bits and pieces from multiple programs. Mm -hmm. We thought, okay, why don't we just do it ourselves and yep. make it exactly how we like it? So mm -hmm. what we started out first was knowing that when people get in here on certain days, because we get a lot of people that are three days a week or two days a week or whatever, mm -hmm. but they're rarely do we have people that are here six days a week. So we knew first off, if we wanted to do a strength cycle, we were going to have to do some alternating days. It couldn't just only be on Mondays and Thursdays or Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah. So first we had to optimally get people in here so that they're hitting at least one of those strength days. Yes. So we do two strength days a week. Mm -hmm. Then we figured out, okay, so we know we can do two of those such as that's maybe like it's a five by five or a five by 10 or a three by eight or whatever that may be. But yeah. our strength had to come first in order of how many people are here how many days a week. So that took a while just to figure out just the strength cycles alone. <laughs> then we had to go even further and think, okay, well, what are, how many weeks do we want to do a strength cycle? Yes. Then out of those how many weeks, how many weeks can we stuff into a year? And then how many out of those weeks, what movements yes. do we want to do? And how many movements do yes. we want to do? So we finally, settled on eight different movements yes which we do four strength cycles every every trimester yes so our, our year is divided <laughs> into three yeah. equal parts we have trimesters we have trimesters <laughs> so there, there's the trimesters and out of every trimester you're going to go through eight strength cycles and every every tr cycle is four weeks long so every 12 weeks you're going to hit eight different movements over the course of four weeks, switch those two movements, so on and such forth. Then we had to figure out, okay, well, how did we want to break that down in, in five by fives, tempos, 
five by tens, eight by twos. I mean, it was, it was a lot. It was that took a that took like set like maybe six hour sessions yeah, just just yeah. talking about the strength cycles yeah. alone. Like yep. that was it because we had to base everything around there yes. before we can move on to any kind of conditioning mm -hmm. or mobility or yep. anything like that. So once you yep. finally settled that, then we were like, okay, well we know that we have two stations. Station one is typically our strength cycle area. Station two is typically our conditioning style area. So then from there we had to figure out, okay, we know that we can crush people from time to time <laughs> because we all need to be crushed from time to time. You have to hit that threshold. Man, this dude's spitting bars Without hitting that me. threshold, fitness bars. You're, you're not completely pushing things to improve little by little. But you can't crush yourself every single day. So that's like the traditional you know what fit. I, I don't want to say the actual word because we'll probably get sued or something like that. But you know what I'm talking about. So we had to change up the intensities knowing that, okay, some days that intensity has to be higher. Some days it has to be moderate. Some days it has to be lower. So then we had to figure out a random rhythm. I, a varied, I would call yeah. it a varied rhythm because it's planned randomness. Yes. Yeah. If you took over the course of a week, every intensity would equal X amount. Yes, but if you're but if you're looking at it day by day, it it's totally different. Because once again, some day may be high followed by a low, or it could be a low followed by a medium to a high. It's it's planned, but it looks random. But if once again you added up that intensity towards the end of the week, it would all equal the same amount. Yeah. Because once again, we know that traditionally most people need roughly 150 minutes of moderate to intense activity minutes mm -hmm. and once again we know that people aren't going to be here six days a week so how can we make that knowing that they're maybe only here three three or four days a week mm -hmm. so once then we figured out the intensity <laughs> then it was okay what movements do we like what movements do we know that are unsafe so we threw out the unsafe movements that we know that either people have a lot of issues with or it's just not feasible for most everyday people I mean, I've been lifting for I don't even know how many years, and I still don't overhead squat. It's just I don't need to. There's no point behind it. I, it, it would take me forever to warm up to do that. I know I'm going to get some people making fun of me. Okay, let's go run or race or play basketball and come talk to me <laughs> or something. We can deadlift and bench too, whatever. But there's just certain movements that the, that the working class public does not need to be doing. So we threw those out. Then we figured out, okay, what can we do? How many times can we do it before it becomes monotonous? Man, I feel like <laughs> it's just bringing back I so feel, many memories of so many I feel meetings. Like and, this. <laughs> oh man, it's like it's funny because this is literally in my just mind, the surface. In my mind, I don't remember any of those meetings. Oh man, that's so funny. I'm like, this. This is why I love the way that I think. <laughs> All I heard was roses and roses and yeah. roses right there. Yeah. Um, but he makes an interesting point, and he's he could actually go on for probably another twenty minutes straight up at talking least, about this. At least I'm gonna kind of back up back to the strength cycles because essentially the cool thing is though, if you are a person, let's say you are a routine person, this is one of the my, one of my favorite things about the program. If you're a routine person who says I go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There's a lot of people like that. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you're going to get a perfect example of variance that's done per week. Every Monday, you'll either have, because what's going on in the month behind the scenes is there's two strength cycles going on at the same, at the same time. So let's say, for instance, deadlifts and overhead press may be going running at the same time. So Monday may be deadlifts, Thursday may be overhead press. Tuesday may be the following week, maybe overhead press. Friday, the following week, maybe deadlifts. So if you're a person who goes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the Monday this week, you're gonna get overhead press. Next week, you're gonna get deadlifts, but you're gonna get those on Friday. So you're still gonna get this magic concoction of strength training and lifting. If you put effort in, right, and it's a little bit more than you've done before, you are gonna reap the benefits of increased strength, endurance, stability, core strength, etc. And so what happens when we 
kind of mix that up. So that's one component, right? Your strength is mixed up. You show up every day or you show up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you got a nice little mix mm -hmm. just from the strength side. We also did design that with our conditioning and our mobility work as well. So there may be a certain interval, maybe it's every three minutes for five sets on Monday, something different on Tuesday a longer workout on Wednesday, a longer workout, but, sh but, uh, but designed rest. So you're not going ham on Thursday. And then maybe something supersonic speed fast on Friday where it's short intervals it, it, and it is super fast. And then something fun and exciting on Saturday that if you decide, if you miss the rest of the week, you have something a little bit more dynamic and a little longer. I like it's a little longer sweat session and a little longer stretch session typically on Saturday because mm -hmm. Saturday for most people is not a workout day. Your, your few population are working out on Saturday. Most people are like, look, I already did my work. That's what I was there for Friday for. I'm, Saturday, I'm sleeping in. I ain't going mm -hmm. to the gym, right? Or you're going on a walk or you're doing something outside, enjoying the weather, right? Those typically is, is your Saturday. What spurred this change for us was we wanted something that was going to be more balanced for people that they could constantly see progress and change in in the long term, not just in the short term, but in the long term. Mm -hmm. And it matched our style. Yep. You know? um, so it, it takes us way more time. It's one thing to write the workout, right? I write a workout on the board. I go, man, that looks like that'd be fun. What am I trying to get from that, though? Does it match with the format that we have, our template that we have? It does. I tested it. Oh, no, it doesn't. Um, it's too heavy. It's way too heavy. Mm -hmm. Dumbbells need to be lighter, right? Yep. The standards for each thing need to be lighter. Oh, they don't need to do dumbbells after they just got off, or uh, box jumps after they got off that bike. That's bad. Mm -hmm. It's bad news. So it's these little nuances and things that allow for um, our clients to get a better experience and for us to get better at our craft. We know after programming like this, especially if you're in the thick of it and you're programming week after week after week and stacking workouts and stacking workouts and stacking workouts, you kind of have a good taste and feel for what works until you and, and for what doesn't. And then we experiment with other stuff to see if that works as well. Yep. Um, yep. It, it's provided great insight because I think we're the only gym that combines in a very strategic method, barbell training, where you have a glimpse of powerlifting, bodybuilding, and Olympic weightlifting, right? And then, and then also still combines your, um, I would say agility, mm -hmm. your anaerobic conditioning, Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Mobility. Yes. And you mm. do and it and it's in a window of time where it's you're from start to finish. One hour. You have seven, eight minutes where we're going through you're warm, you're getting properly warmed up. Then we go over the movements themselves. Then station one is doing strength. It's very, very strength focused. Station two is more cardiovascular focused. They get done with those stations. Seven minutes of rest or somewhere in between there, they have a, a good rest period. They switch and then they do this the second part and then they get a cool down. They're done. Like whew, I did my work. And then, you know what I really like at the end of this, we have what's called test week. And we've talked about test week on here here multiple times. We have designed some tests around the things that we think are important in your fitness, not just when you're in your twenties, but when you're in your fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, doesn't matter. These tests are important. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we designed our strength cycles to coincide with our, uh, our test period. Mm -hmm. So every year, you're one rep maxing two to three times a year. It, it alternates years. So let's yep. say this year you deadlifted twice. Next year, you would deadlift three times for one rep max. Yep. But ever since we've been doing this, I mean, we have people that have been, been with the gym for six plus years yes. at least yes at least yes and since we started doing it this way mm -hmm. our way mm -hmm. every single person yes every single person Without exception has increased their one rep max and we're yep. talking about people that are 40 50 60 60s, years old 65. that have been working out yes. consistently yes and all that we did was incorporate a consistent strength cycle and test it Yep. And every single time 
everybody has one rep max. It's really funny because when you're coaching on test week, they're like, they look at their old one rep max and they're like, oh man, I don't know. I did this six years ago. I'm, I'm older now. I don't, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> and as coaches, we're like, no, you know, just, just work on it, you know, or, or some of them are, you know, they're going to say that they're not getting stronger and be like, come on now, just, yeah, just do course. it. Okay. Yeah. You're yep. going to get five, 10 pounds over that. Yeah. Every single time. It's every every single, single time. time. Obviously, there's a law of diminishing t returns, but right now, with our program, every single person has gotten stronger yep. on their own right max, whether it's by five pounds or by 40 pounds. Yes. It's happened. Yes. Every single person. They're like, oh my goodness. Yeah. I like, um, mean? you know, some of my favorite infomercials that I can always think of, like, um, is uh, set it and forget it okay everybody knows that ronco okay the rotisserie okay mm -hmm. i mean you remember him putting the things on there i'm like man he's making some he's always making something good too yeah all right but so what i like in our program is i say if you show up you're gonna blow up right if you show up if you walk in the door right you're going to get better yeah it's like unavoidable yep. because the program is designed in such a way that it is scalable from where you are today so the brand new person you know, we have 70 some, years old. Yes. Brand new person, 70 years old, right? It's going to get better and they're going to be shocked at what they can do in a month's time from now, mm -hmm. two weeks time from now. Yeah. I, I have people that have told me like after their second workout, right? Their second workout, they're like, man, I worked today. I noticed that usually I get tired at this point. I wasn't as tired at mm -hmm. that point. Two weeks later, they're like, yeah, so now I'm an expert in fitness. That's pretty much what it seems like because yeah. we're talking at a different level. But man, it is incredible. And that's the whole design. You come in, ailments or not, uh, different workarounds that we need to do. The program is designed to handle that and do that. You're not experienced with the barbell. You've never done it. Great news for you. Most of our clients haven't. I, I got ladies in here doing snatches. Okay, they're, they're, they're in their mid 40s to, to 50s and they've never done snatches before. And guess what? They're crushing it, mm -hmm. right? So um, it's possible that's what we designed the program to do. And I think it's what separates is like, if you want a program that, you know, there's we have some people that do our program and then do other supplemental programs, which we encourage. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of exercise. So I'm not gonna tell you that this is, that our program is the only program. Clearly people get fitter in other ways. But I think ours is the most well-designed program. So if you wanted one discipline to stay into, and you said this was going to have the best carryover to other things, like the best foundation that you could utilize for others, I think this is it. Because we combine so many disciplines in a structured way that you can take and go anywhere else. You know, we have some people that just love yoga. Nothing wrong with getting some more stretching. But yoga is not going to make you good with a barbell or make you better in space. But mm -hmm. yoga is going to make you more flexible in your hips and shoulders and et cetera, which is important. Yeah, yeah. Yoga is going to make you feel good, mm -hmm. mm, but this is going to make you look good and feel good. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you want to run faster, yeah. jump higher, be more, I call it bulletproof. And so what I mean by that is you can handle more stress, right? As you lift more weights, your bones get denser, right? You can handle more stress of life, right? So like a bump, you know, a fall, any of these things that are realities, right? That would mm -hmm. hurt and crush most people are not gonna mess you up. You may have a scrape on your skin or something like that, but you know, maybe a bruised ego if you tripped in front of a crowd or something. But <laughs> and not only physically, but it's a mental game. Absolutely. Because you know, sometimes when you come in here, it's gonna be tough. Yes. It's designed yep. to be tough sometimes. Absolutely. And we're gonna push you and you're probably not gonna like us all the time and that's okay because yep. we're gonna get you better. But if you can handle those days when you're like, man, I really don't wanna be here, but you're here anyways, you did it, at the end of it, everybody's smiling, they're happy, they're healthy. You go out into normal life, and it's like, I just crushed that workout. What is the little stress outside of life? Yes. It's so much oh, yeah. easier. Oh, yeah. If I can show up to the gym, do this tough workout, or do this lift, or whatever, then everyday stuff becomes so much easier because you've physically been through it. You put yourself there. Yeah. You're paying to be here to get better. Yeah. You get better everything else becomes so much easier. It, it is every bit as mental as it is physical. And that's how we've designed the program. And ever since we've done it ourselves, it's been working out great. Now, the good thing is, is that we're still getting better at it. Yep. Just because we've done things one way, doesn't mean we won't switch it up. 
because we're both really looking to improve it as best as possible. Mm -hmm. And not only with that, times are changing consistently, programs change. The Jane Fonda program used to be all the rage in the world, and mm -hmm. if you did that, you were with you it. ties of steel. And then it First. moved on to the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing. And what we do now won't be what we do in 10 years, because what's popular and what works best in 10 years isn't what works best now. Yes. And then at some point, everything retros and so on and such forth. But the changes and everything that come with growing as a gym just keep growing and getting better. Yeah. I mean, that's absolutely. I mean, if there was a, we're, we're always trying to get 1% better. And so that excellence carries through in everything else that we do. That means we want our programming to be 1% better. We want our customer service to be 1% better. We want the experience, overall experience that you have when you walk into the gym to be 1% better. All of those things come with the pursuit of just making everything the best it can be, right? And this is, at this moment, this is the best that it is right now. I can tell you based upon the, the equipment that we have coming and <laughs> the things that it's we're doing, exciting. it's going to be even better. Yep. And because we know, we know for sure that no one has the things that are going to be in our space. And I'm telling you, we've been hyping this up for a little bit and I'm still going to not stop because it's yep. that powerful. Yep. It's that good and it's only getting better. And if I'm telling you, if there's a good time to get signed up right now, especially during a time where inflation is at an all-time high, um, it's now, especially because we have this grand opening special going on right now. We have a six-month special and also a 12-month special that is 25% off the normal membership price. Um, and that is only going to last until we are set and operating in the new location. We have tons of people that have taken advantage of this. Um, so we encourage you to DM us, text, carrier pigeon, you name it, whatever. Send the method, and we'll get you rocking and rolling mm -hmm. here. So, man, that's all I got. Yeah. All right. Well, it. we appreciate you hanging in there with us today. If you have questions, please feel free to message us. Um, our website is the Vibe Gym, the V I V E Gym dot com. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Same as my name, Kadima eighty four. I think. No. Oh, it's Kadima dot Duncan. <laughs> Um, so anyway, just, just it's just know. my name. Okay, just just, just know. find us. Okay, yeah, just let us know. <laughs> We're in here somewhere. Free intro session if you go to our website. Yes, we'll get you set up. Absolutely. Yeah. So we appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you next week. Later. Peace.